Hi there. Welcome to the new edition of a Columns Demo. How to use Columns to do the collaborative data storytelling with your team. Let's come to the home page, uh, do a quick demo. First, you can click My Workspace or Login to sign in using Google Account, Slack, or just email. If you don't have an account yet uh, with email, you can go ahead to sign up. Otherwise, you can sign in with Google account directly. For example, here I'm using my own work email to enter my workspace. In my workspace, you can see that all my data story are listed in a card uh, list. If you want to switch to table view, it will become row by row. Every single card you can preview the content of the data story. In the preview version, you will be only see download option with a switch PNG or CSV. Or you can switch to data view. You may also want to pay attention to the three dots, which is a menu actions you can take on this story. This is for view, for preview the data story, edit this data story, share it. The sharing is interesting. If you are familiar with Google Doc, you may see that it has fine grain access control. When you don't want to share it with the public, you can specify just a couple of people to share with different uh, um, access uh, permission level. For example, like who can comment, who can only view. Let's jump to a story creation mode to see how to create a beautiful data story with your own customization. Just by click this uh, big button create you enter the creation mode in the creation mode everything is started with the data set you may already have connected multiple data set the data set is a logic concept which is can be represented by as SQL query or can be a spreadsheet ID or can be a service definition um, if you want to explore what kind of data we can connect just click this, you will see we have spreadsheets, the Excel is coming, upload CSV, TSV to our own storage, um, Snowflake Data Warehouse, BigQuery is incoming, DataBricks, different services, or just HTTP services, or other SaaS tools like Square, Shopify, Salesforce, even real time streaming. Kafka and other services we connect. The first step by seek selecting, uh, you know, data set. Here I want to show you something. For example, this data set is pretty simple. It has a year, company, and market cap. Once you selected the data. The system will give you some recommendations based on your data. Sometimes the recommendations are computed based on the statistics of your data or schema of your data. Or sometimes this may, may be based on the user behavior, so how you use it. So as you use it more, the recommendations will become smarter and smarter. But here you can see um, query recommendation also allow you to use in natural language to enter uh, what you want to query. But before that, you may want to check out what kind of data you're analyzing. You have year, company, market cap. If you have any annotations, you know, descriptions for this um, column, you can actually uh, go, go, go find it out, go to uh, edit it. A different type, using different color to, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, highlight it. 
uh, but here we only just like different shade like you know screen values and the numeric values so now if you want to see the samples of the data you can click that button and it will just display the samples for you and uh, let's see uh, right now it would recommend a correlation um, a correlation graph for you which is basically correlation between year and uh, and uh, uh, market cap so now let's do something different for example we want to see total value by each year uh, in a bar chart we actually can use a use a, use a, use a voice to do that total market cap by each year So you can see the query actually generated a sum aggregations on the market cap and it aggregated the group by year. So you can see year by year uh, total sum cap among all the comp companies. This is very interesting because you can see it gives you very quickly give you a, a start point to tell the story. In this case, I, I spot it out. I find it out. Two thousand twenty-one is actually very interesting. It's very high. And two thousand twenty-two, basically this year, it actually dropped. It's even less than two uh, twenty twenty. Probably it's because of the current recession. I want to display all the um, year, so I can select the access, and we I can get you know all the um, options. Make the font size a little bit smaller, so it's not that. Maybe 12, 11, this is good. Um, I want auto title. Please remember, everything is movable. Like I said, on columns, you can style and customize every single element. You just click and style. For example, here I want to see um, display value for this, you know, the, the highest point, and I really want to highlight it. So I want to put in others to background and highlight this guy, which is 2021. And then now I also want to display the full value. So it will be long. Uh, I think it's too big, so let's use in, for sure, use in billion uh, dollars to do that. And then now, I want to, uh, you know, highlight using uh, an arrow to to point it out this year. Um, what I want to say is basically, I want to say, um, two thousand twenty one peak company. What is for this text? I want a little bit smaller. I want a different color, like highlighted color. Okay. So using the same color for error as well. Sickness. So this is all looking good. And I really want to engage people to talk about this. So I want to add in something here. Let's pay attention to this pick. Now everything looks good. I want to start to save this snapshot and engage my team to have some good uh, discussion on that. So let's say company valuation total. Let's just use a simple one. 
as you may see that here we have like saving options we have shot URL options this is basically just capture everything as read only short URL so you can share with other people and here we have uh, um, sharing in the slack directly which is pasting the whole message to the slack and in the slack you can preview the whole thing um, but you have to connect with your slack and choose the default channel to share with here um, can be set by uh, in, in your profile and you can choose to connect your slack uh, in this demo let's just uh, save it now you got a new you know the um, version and everything saved we can go out and you can see this is like new uh, data story showing at the top by default it's private again let's go ahead to share with another people I give uh, him a comment uh, permission and keep it restricted so nobody can access this um, story only the one I shared when I save this the system will automatically send the you know the email to uh, to the people I shared with for the demo purpose I use in you know another browser so we can um, keep both users locked in and you can see here I have uh, Columns notification you ask me to uh, say hey I'm invited to a story so I can open the story the share with me and as you can see that this is what uh, uh, my Zios account just shared with me and what I want to do is basically I want to uh, see the uh, message and do some you know interactions with the author say yeah big crash I had in 2022 so once I pasted this kind of like you know the uh, message uh, I mean I replied it basically will uh, the system also like you know um, generate some notifications for related participants people so if I switch back to my uh, uh, account actually I got I got my email which is uh, um, got the notifications I don't know where my email is but basically yeah basically here sorry about that um, basically let's just like go here and see right yeah coming back to this uh, chatting so I can keep interaction with people and then Added that later to have you know multiple versions um, and I can choose which version to share as a final public one so before I share with more audience um, I think here we can stop here uh, we conclude conclude the whole use case the scenario how people you know easily connect the data and building customized the story and share with people engage the audience get the instant feedback and uh, um, allow people to communicate on data anytime anywhere I hope you like this demo thank you so much